Hi everyone, today we're going to be reviewing How to Get Away with Murder, Season 2, Episode 14. So we're starting off with Annalise. So y'all know last week she went over to Wes's house to, you know, comfort him and, you know, explain some things. But Wes was with Alex. So she manages to, you know, escape by the skin of her teeth. But I don't know when she was, like, tussling with Philip. It was almost like he was trying to tell her to stop, that he needed to tell her something. I don't know. It's like she was, like, trying to get away from him. He's like, stop, stop. Like, I'm trying to tell you some crucial information that can help you out here. But then again, I was thinking he did, like, rent, want, like, a million dollars from them. But it could be he a pine too. I don't know. How to get away from murder. Like you think one thing. And like two minutes later you're thinking another thing. But she managed to escape. She gets to the hospital. I don't know how. Obviously Philip didn't want to hurt her. Or she wouldn't you know. Been able to escape. But you know she was managed to break free. And get out of the clutches of Philip. So after Wes's mom killed herself, like the police, they put Wes's name down, but they don't really believe he had anything to do with her death. But they do think the Mahoney family has something to do with it. Now here's why. She was supposed to testify their only witness, didn't show up for court, then tried to skip town, and now all of a sudden she's dead. So Annalise is like, I know they didn't do it, and I can't say that I was there. That you know when she killed herself, so like she's kind of torn. But I think it's funny that even ten years ago, when a murder happened, Wes was somewhat involved. He was like in the scenario of things. I just thought that was funny, and I just like picked up on that just now that Wes, even ten years ago, when Annalise was involved. Wes was involved, but not so much as in the killing, but involved in the people that was killed. Y'all yeah, tell me about that. Now I'm Kayla all in her feelings because Caleb is missing. And she feels like if we had a told Caleb that Philip was back on the scene, we could have saved him. It's all your fault, Annalise. My boyfriend is gone. He could be chopping the pieces all over town. <laughs> it's your fault. But I'm thinking, girl, if you don't calm down and have y'all told Caleb, y'all would have had to bring him in to get another lie. That's not good for anything because at one point, someone, one of y'all going to snap and just tell it all. So keeping Caleb out of the loop was the best thing possible for everybody. Y'all could be like, okay, Phil was back in town. He's going to be like, okay, let's call the police. They find the find Philip. Philip can be like, yeah, I took this the night that them fools was up or running from the mansion. I may not show it may not show the time stake on the camera, but eventually, and other evidence I can show that I had my camera up on my phone showing the time in the day and them running. So like all kind of scenarios could happen. Like keeping Caleb out of the loop at this time was the best thing for the group. Because remember. Y'all wasn't supposed to be there at the mansion in the first place. So y'all blaming Annalise. Like one minute y'all blaming Annalise. Next week's oh Annalise we need you. Philip is stalking us. We don't know what to do. Help us. Help us please. I don't know what to do. So Annalise is like. Look girl if you don't get out my face with this whole Caleb situation. I just got attacked by Philip. I ain't got time to be worrying about your boyfriend. I'm going to need y'all to stay put, stay together, quit getting on my nerves. And I'm going to pop off, um, pop one y'all on the head if y'all keep on. That's like how yeah, she's feeling like, Annalise was like, y'all kids getting on my nerves. My life was perfectly fine before y'all five came into the mix. Next thing you know, y'all killing folks. Y'all shoot me, even though I told y'all to shoot me. Y'all running folks over. I'm covering up for y'all. Like, if y'all don't stop. So, we jump back. 10 years to year 2006 and old daddy Mahoney showing up to Annalise's place talking about some congratulations for losing a case for his new I shouldn't have hired to tell should have went with my good he didn't say that but he said it with his action but she's like I ain't lost the case yet like we still got time for one he's like now tell me how this is gonna work seeing as how our only witness is dead how you gonna fix things now my son gonna go to jail but Annalise was like why was she so scared to testify against you? Tell me that. What you got going on in your life that she was so scared to testify? But he went on about you know, harming her son and all that stuff. So, Annalise is like, all right, Alex, we're going to have to cook the books. 
we're gonna have to say it where it's like because this man had already basically threatened Wes on several occasions and we need to save him Alex was like I don't really know if I want to do that because last time I got involved that poor woman tried to kill herself so maybe we should just let Will in for long but at least like you know what I'm gonna do it myself I gotta do everything else myself I'm gonna go ahead and do that so if she's on her way to like try to get if like get less place in a situation where he's gonna be safe she gets hit by a car and i just knew that that was gonna happen because like the way they were showing her like from the side view she's driving she's on the phone and then bam she gets hit on her side i'm like lord is this how she lost the baby i'm all hyperventilating like how to get away with murder it is so difficult to take down notes and watch the show at the same time you just don't know because you trying to take notes but then you trying to like like see what's going on if i didn't have my dvr i wouldn't be able to finish this do these reviews it's like oh snap what happened you got to rewind and like did that just happen oh my god like it is kind of a stressful show to watch, but stressful in a good way because you don't know what's going to happen next. Like I said earlier, how to get away with murder, you can be thinking somebody is completely guilty one minute and two minutes later you're like, oh snap, that wasn't even like it. And that is what is so good about this show. But I'm like, oh, poor Anna Lee, she didn't got hit by, she didn't got into this car accident. But then I'm thinking... Did the Mahoney's have something to do with this? Because they mad at Anna Lee's you know, messed up situation and now, you know, they only witnesses it. Did they have something to do with this? Y'all let me know. So Laurel, all in her feelings since she done broke up with Frank and found out he's a killer, decides to blurt out in front of everybody, including Oliver. I think Frank is the one that shot Annalise and not Catherine. And like, Oliver's like, what, what, what are you talking about? If that's true, maybe we should get the heck about her if he's a killer. But to her, she's a little bit drunk. She's a lot of bit emotional. She don't know what to do. But she looks at this as, I'm helping you, Cotter, in your relationship. This is what I'm doing. You can't see it right now, but I'm helping you in your relationship. If he just, like, suspects Frank City, he's not going to suspect Wes. So you can take me at a later occasion. I love, you know, edible arrangements. The one with the chocolate purple strawberries, not the ones with the um honeydew. Get me that. I'm like, really? Lord, what is going on with you? Then we got a drunk as a skunk, Annalise. She didn't pass out at one point. She comes out the room like, look at her, y'all. Y'all chaps gotta get up at my house. Oliver, what you doing here? This is, is this a super kitchen now? Everybody leave. Wes, you stay. She was cool until Bonnie got up all in her ear talking about something. What is this about Wes? Like, why are you so protective about him? You've been protective about this boy ever since he got here. What's going on? And Liz like, look here, Bonnie. You getting on my nerves, little girl. So, I'm going to need you and the rest of the bunch. Y'all leave. So, the group decides that, hey. Since we've been kicked out of Annalise's part house, even though we all supposed to stay together because what? A potential killer is on the loose. So what do we do? Let's go get drunk and go to a bar. That's what we're going to do. Where we can be the most vulnerable. Feel like them just come up and just swoop one and get one of us right quick while we inebriated it on the dance floor. Then while they out there getting drunk, I was like, look here, dog, I quit my job. Like, I don't know if it's because I got diagnosed, but I just want to be free. You think at least gonna let me work for her? She seems like a cool girl, even though she just like kicked us out. But like, I just want to be drunk and not do anything and not care. But I was like, Connor's like, really? So now I gotta take care of both of us right now and you quitting your jobs, you're not telling anybody. I'm like, what's wrong with you, man? A somewhat drunk Annalise and a try to get with drink Annalise sit down and talk. And she tells him that she was working on a case and she wanted to win so bad that she let her clients get in her head and she pressured his mom into testifying and the mom was scared to testify so she killed herself. Then we jump back to like the most sad scene like Annalise. She had to have emergency C-section. She lost the baby. 
She's terrified. She's crying. Sam comes in. Alec wants to know what's going on, but she can't get any information because she's not family. She's crying and holding a baby. At one point, she's like, take this baby away from me. I can't do it right now. Like, she's shook at this time. Like, while trying to say, like, she didn't say this, but like, basically, while trying to save another child's life, she ended up losing her child. And maybe that's why she had the strong connection for Wes. It's like, I'm going to do what I couldn't do for my baby. What I did said I was going to do what your mom asked me to do is I'm going to look out for you. But where's the little thing? Something else to that story. I don't believe you one little bit. Like, what's going on? Well, it turns out that, you know, Daddy Mahoney raped Wes's mom and he is the product of rape. Because we flash back yet again. To, no, 19, to 2006 and Annalise is asking him like why is she so afraid of you like what's going on like oh you've been raping her for years but then I was like how can you rape somebody for years like was she scared like if I leave I'm going to be deported it's like I don't have any other options but apparently he's been doing it for years and he Wes is the product of rape then the last bit is a very drunk as a skunk Laura goes over to Annalise to chastise her. You ruined all my relationship, my relationship with Frank, my relationship with Wes. He doesn't want to talk to me. Did you tell him about his mom? Did he kill his mom? I want to know. Let me in your house. I'm so drunk. She's like, I know you're a bad person. And you made Frank kill Lila for you. Yeah, Frank told me. That you made him kill Lila. And this is news to Annalise. But while this is going on. Frank and Bonnie together. And Frank was like look here. Don't tell nobody that you know Sam. Kind of made me kill Lila. Like Annalise cannot notice. You know this will kill her. You know she can't notice things about me. This is. Just don't tell nobody Bonnie. But as this is going on. Laura is steady telling how. Yeah I know Frank is the one that killed Lila. And you made him do that. You're a bad person. But Annalise is like what? So after a drunk Laura leaves. Or was pushed out of the house. Annalise is like you know what? These She did not fit to stress me no more. She's like I'm going to pack my bags. And I'm going home to mom. And that's exactly what she did. We get a little small small, small glance. And since we're at the end of the story, just happy to see her baby. Yeah. So that was the gist that went on. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment or video response. And like I always, I'm going to thank my subscribers and the people watching my videos. I want you to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and here on YouTube. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.